U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission is the independent government oversight agency that protects people and the environment when civilians use radioactive materials, such as in commercial nuclear power plants. An important part of the NRC's job is to review applications for new plants. The NRC licensed today's 104 operating nuclear plants using a two-step process that first issued a construction permit and later an operating license. Each product required a detailed review and a public hearing. This process, which last licensed a plant in 1996, sometimes took more than a dozen years. NRC staff have been working since 1989 to create a new streamlined reactor licensing process. This new process, which includes public participation at key points, is what we call Part 52, the section of our regulations covering new reactors. This process basically combines a construction permit and an operating license into a single product. Part 52 provides final licensing decisions efficiently while preserving the public's ability to participate and even contest an application in a hearing. The process provides three licensing products, new reactor design certifications, early site permits, and combined license. A design certification review takes four to five years to ensure that any new reactor design meets the NRC's safety requirements. Only after our technical and legal experts are satisfied will the design be written into our regulations. The public has the opportunity to comment on the design during the regulation writing process. A design certification approves a new reactor design but does not provide permission to build anything. An early site permit review takes up to three years, including extensive safety and environmental reviews and a hearing to address public concerns. The review determines whether a piece of land is an appropriate location to support a nuclear power plant. An early site permit does not authorize construction of a reactor. An early site permit review requires the applicant to perform extensive research and analysis For an early site permit, two public comment meetings are held near the proposed site, once early in the review and again after a draft environmental impact statement is published. Comments from citizens and government agencies are addressed in the final impact statement. The NRC also reviews site safety and emergency preparedness issues before deciding if the permit can be granted. If issued, the permit is good for 20 years. The NRC takes up to three and a half years to review combined license applications, including a hearing to address public concerns. The review determines whether building a specific reactor design at a specific site meets the NRC's requirements. Combined license applications that reference a certified design, an early site permit, or both can significantly simplify the information the NRC must review. A combined license allows construction of a nuclear power plant and allows initial operation if certain criteria are met. Combined license reviews include environmental work that's either an initial look at the site or a supplement to what was reviewed for an ESP. As with an early site permit, the NRC seeks public input early in the review and after a draft impact statement. As part of the safety review, the NRC and the applicant assemble a list of inspections, tests, analyses, and acceptance criteria that must be performed to show that the nuclear power plant reactor has been built as designed and approved. We call these criteria ITAC. While the plant is under construction, specialized, experienced NRC staff from the agency's new construction inspection program will monitor a plant's ITAC progress. Once a licensee tells the NRC it's finished with ITAC, the public has an opportunity to challenge that specific claim. We've assembled the best and brightest technical experts available to review the many applications we're expecting. As the independent overseer of nuclear safety in the United States, the NRC is committed to ensuring everyone's voice is heard as we consider new applications while protecting the public and the environment for the future.